quadratic equation in one variable can be expressed in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0, where a, b, and c are real numbers, and a is not equal to 0, and it is a non-negative number. Remember that a is not equal to 0, and it is a non-negative number. Or, you can have also ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0, where a, b, and c are real numbers, and a is greater than 0. a is greater than 0 means a is not equal to 0 and non-negative numbers. Some books have these conditions, and some books have these conditions, which is a is not equal to 0. So these two here are the same when a is not equal to 0 and a non-negative number and when a is greater than 0. These two are the same. ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0 is called the standard form of a quadratic equation in one variable. One variable because we have only one variable which is x. So standard form is arranged in a descending power of the variable in the equation. So this is the standard form. ax squared plus bx raised to 1 plus cx raised to 0 equals 0. Take note that the exponents of the variable x are written in a descending order. We have the first term, ax squared, then the second term is bx, then the exponent is 1 of x, and the third term is cx raised to 0. So the exponents here are written in a descending order. Thus becomes, since the second term here, bx raised to 1, since the exponent of the variable x is 1, then this is not needed to be written as the exponent here. And since the exponent of the variable x in the third term, x raised to 0, then this is considered 1. So, c times 1 is here is equal to C, and this is now the standard form of a quadratic equation in one variable. So, let's identify the term. This is the standard form of a quadratic equation, ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero wherein ax squared is the first term, and this is known as the quadratic term. bx is the second term, which is known as the linear term, and c, which is the third term, and this is known as the constant term. So, this is the quadratic term because the exponent here is 2. This is a linear term because the exponent of the variable x is 1, and this is the constant term, which is a number. Examples of quadratic equations in one variable. Number one equation, x squared plus 3x minus 2 equals 0. This equation here consists of three terms. The quadratic term, which is the first term, the linear term, which is the second term, and the constant term, which is the third term. This equation is known as the complete quadratic equation. Equation negative 5x squared minus 2x equals 0. This is the first term, which is the quadratic term, 
and this is the second term this is the linear term the third term is missing so this equation is an incomplete quadratic equation because third term is lacking the next equation 4y squared plus 1 4y squared is the quadratic term and 1 is the third term which is the constant term. So the second term is missing. So this is also an incomplete quadratic equation. We will proceed now to the next questions. Which of the following are quadratic equations? Number 1. 5x squared plus 4 equals 0. So, this is the first term, which is the quadratic term, and this is the last term, which is the constant term. So, this is the exponent of the first term, 5x squared, is 2. So, this is known as, this is considered as, quadratic equation in number 2 2x minus 5x 2x is a linear term because the exponent of the variable x is 1 and 5 is a constant term so this is not a quadratic equation because the linear term is not uh, the Quadratic term is not present. So, this is not a quadratic equation, but it is a linear equation. In number 3, x times the quantity 3x plus 4 equals 5. Then, we will solve this one using we have x times the quantity 3x plus 4 using the multi uh, distributive property of multiplication you have this one then we have x times 3x this becomes 3x squared then positive times positive 4 we have positive x times positive 4 is positive 4x equals 5 so we have a quadratic term which is 3x squared so this is known as a quadratic equation so number 3 is a quadratic equation this is a quadratic equation number 4 we have x minus the quantity x minus 4 squared minus 2 equals 0 so this is considered as x the quantity x minus 4 times the quantity x minus 4 minus 2 equals 0 using the FOIL method so for FOIL first terms x times x is x squared the outer term which is x times negative 4 which is negative 4x the inner terms negative 4 times x this is negative 4x then the last terms negative 4 times negative 4 is positive 16 minus 2 equals 0 then x squared collecting like terms negative 4x negative 4x since the signs are the same then add add the terms and copy their common sign we have negative 8x plus a positive 16 minus 2 the signs are different so subtract the numbers and get the sign of a greater number 16 minus 2 is 14 then the sign is positive because 16 is greater than 2 equals 0 so the equation the resulting equation is a quadratic equation 
Equation 2x squared plus x equals 2x squared plus 3. So we want to write all the quadratic terms at the left side of the equation, thus making the equation now 2x squared plus x equals 2x squared plus 3. We want to eliminate 2x squared at the right side of the equation. So, use the additive inverse, which is negative 2x squared. Additive inverse. Inverse meaning the opposite. So, the opposite of positive 2x squared is negative 2x squared. Or, you can use the subtraction property of equality which is since we added negative 2x squared at the right side, then we should also add negative 2x squared at the left side of the equation can return to its original equation. Collecting like terms or simplifying, we have 2x squared minus 2x squared. This is cancelled out. What is left here is x equals 2x squared minus 2x squared. This is cancelled out. Then, what is left here is 3. So, the equation now, x is equal to 3. There is no quadratic term. So, this is a linear equation. Or, you can do like this. This is the short cut method for 2x squared plus x equals 2x squared plus 3 since we want to eliminate the quadratic term eliminate the quadratic term 2x squared at the right side and be transferred to the left side so since for the shortcut we will transfer the term to the left side of the equation. That's making now 2x squared it's here plus x. Since the term here crosses the equal sign, so the sign of the term changes from positive to negative. So this becomes 2 negative 2x squared equals positive 3. This becomes now 2x squared minus 2x squared is these two terms here are cancelled out so x is equal to 3 so the answers here are the same x is equal to 3 and this is a linear equation you can do you can use the process like this in other words this is the property of equality and this is the shortcut method which is the transfer of one of the term from the left side to the right side or from the right side to the left side but take note that when the term crosses the equal sign then the sign of the term changes it is either from positive to negative or from negative to positive.